Hey everyone, I'm Cameron with Spark3D. Today I'm going to be sharing my build video for the Ultimate Raspberry Pi Portable. If this is your first time on my page, the 3D files, build list, and other information are linked in my bio, on Instagram, and on YouTube. For this build, we're going to need a Raspberry Pi 4, Adobe Nintendo Switch controller, and a new Soul 7 inch touchscreen, or an equivalent. All associated cables, bolts, and other parts are also listed in the bio. For the first part of this build, we're going to start with the controller and the 3D printed chassis, which we're going to slide in. Should slide in easy. After which, we're going to attach the female USB cable. That's going to allow us to connect the controller to the Pi. Make sure it's oriented in such a way that it's going to connect easy, because it's squishy in there. After which, we're going to take that 5 volt fan, and then we're going to attach it to the actual touchscreen chassis using two 16 millimeter bolts and the M3 nut associated with it. Sometimes these can be tough to get through, so drilling out, sanding it, or maybe even using a power driver is recommended. After which, we're going to mount the panel mount USB connector into the chassis using two 8mm M3 bolts. Next, we're going to route our power cables, power cable for the actual touchscreen, and the power cable that's going to run our Raspberry Pi through the back of the controller to those two through the small slots in the back. After we've attached that fan, we're going to rotate it over. We're going to attach our touchscreen using four 8mm M3 bolts. Make sure the top is tight and flush, but leave the bottom loose, just barely threaded, because that's going to attach to the actual bottom chassis, and we'll need those later. Next, insert the USB panel mount and the actual SSD USB into the bike controller. The power cables into the screen. Make sure that the controller USB and the SSD cables are on the top because those are high speed ports. We want to be able to access those. Next, make sure the base is flush. Tighten in those 8mm screws to connect the actual the uh, touchscreen chassis to the Pi chassis, and then we're going to take 24 millimeter M3 bolts and we're going to tighten the Pi chassis into the touchscreen chassis. This is going to make it really, really tight, really, really robust. I would recommend a power driver here if you have it. If you're putter fingers like me, this takes quite a bit, especially with creating threads in the plastic. Like I said, butterfingers. Takes a little bit. After which our power cables are going to be exposed on the back. I like to clean these up using just a little wire sheath. You can get it on Amazon for super, super cheap. A whole roll for like five bucks. And then just slip that on over the two USBs. It's easier to slip one USB through and then the next. And then I just take the excess cable and hide it away in the sheath along with part in the chassis. Just makes it look nicer, especially since you're going to have an exposed battery. I mounted the battery with uh, 3M tape, double-sided mounting tape. Works just fine. I had to use a bigger battery for this build just because I'm running a fan, an SSD, and full power brightness. Um, so you need a monster battery for that. If you end up running no fan and no SSD, you might be able to get away with a smaller battery that can fit inside the chassis. Finally, we're going to lock the chassis together using the fan bolt holes, inserting the last two 16 millimeter screws. And then all we have to do is uh, power up. As I'm going to show you, I've already got my Pi image on here. So after we power up, 
it's going to go through Emulation Station, where you can access all your games that you want, and then you can even, through ports, run to the Pi Desktop or Kodi. It's a, it's a pretty fun build. I sure enjoyed it. But please let me know your thoughts and feedback in the comments. I'm happy to answer questions, and I'd love the feedback. Thank you so much, and uh, feel free to subscribe and continue to follow. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.